Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in to a brand new video review and I just got back from San Diego Comic Con 2017 it was an absolute blast as always um, there weren't too many exclusives I picked up this year but one that I really wanted the moment I saw it that it was announced um, a few weeks before Comic Con is the Diamond Select Batman Beyond Resin Mini Bust from uh, Batman Beyond the series um, back in the early 2000s when this show was out. Um, they also did have an unmasked version of this bust. However, I did not pick it up because I wasn't uh, very impressed or pleased at the fact that they kept him in the same Batman suit. I was kind of hoping for the unmasked version to have Terry McGinnis in his normal um, teenager or everyday casual clothing. Um, I know, you know, they still take off their masks even when they're in their suits, but to have more variation, I really wanted them to have a Batman Beyond mini bust and then a Terry McGinnis mini bust. Um, I really debated that when I was in line taking a look at both of them, and I just decided to have, um, or to decided to only buy the regular Batman Beyond mini bust. Um, and I have not opened it up at all, so I will be doing that right now. Sometimes I'll open up the piece and take a look at it. Um, I have not done so yet, so this will be a first time for everything. So taking a look at the package first, um, you see the DC logo, the Comic-Con exclusive logo. Um, this is the exact mini bus that you get with the classic Batman and Beyond logo. On the side again, the same images. On the back, um, just a short bio about the bust and the character. I'm um, reading Terry McGinnis was a teenager with a troubled past when a brawl with the Joker's gang brought him to the doorstep of the reclusive Bruce Wayne, discovering the old man's secret history as Batman. Terry knew just, when, just where to turn when his father was murdered by Derek Powers, stealing the latest high-tech Batsuit. Terry convinced Bruce that the world needed a Batman. He would later be invited to join Justice League Unlimited. This exclusive resin bust of Batman Beyond is, is, is based on his experience on Batman Beyond and is limited to 850 pieces. Uh, kind of weird wording they have there. Um, but yes, as I read, this is limited to 850 pieces and they do put the number on the bottom. This is number 404. And they do put a sticker as well that reads 404 right there. The other side is the same image. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside. So here we have Batman Beyond out of his packaging and this is a really cool piece. Um, as you all know if you take a look at my social media or my other videos, 90% of my collection or my uh, mini bus collection I should say is General Giant. I have very few um, pieces from other companies. I have I think the one from DC Collectibles which is the Wonder Woman. I have the Sideshow Hellboy and then I have like a Terminator here and just a few others here and there um, because General Giant is really the leading producer uh, and manufacturer of minibus and over the years um, Diamond Select has been coming out with quite a few I haven't been too impressed with them or just too keen on picking up the characters I know I think last year or the year before they had a Superman minibus which I regret not picking up and I've been just hesitant on ordering it online just you know other expenses have been coming up in the collecting world um, and over the weekend, if you take a look at one of my booth videos, there's a company that I haven't heard of called Icon Heroes. And I don't know if I've just gone under their radar or they are brand new, but they have absolutely phenomenal mini busts for amazing prices so far. And I'm sure they'll be giving General Giant a run for their money. Um, but until then, let's take a look at my very first Diamond Select mini bust. And inside the packaging, we do get this pretty cool COA, a little bit different from what I am used to as well. And I just remembered I do have a few Bowen pieces as well. So, you know, they've been kind of slow and over the years in producing mini busts, but anyway, as you can see, we have all the same information on here, the Batman Beyond image with the Comic-Con exclusive logo, the Batman Beyond logo, DC, Diamond Select, and the Batman image, and again, 404 out of 850, and the other side is just blank. So taking a look at this, it's as accurate as you're going to get to Batman Beyond. Now, the good thing is, it is not a real life or, you know, lifelike impersonation of Batman um, or of any character, so they really are... I guess expected to nail this Batman Beyond minibus or when it comes to the animated characters but even then there are companies that can't really get that and Diamond Select has done a fantastic job with this minibus and the pose is simple, it's badass, it's straight to the point, it's Batman Beyond, you know they didn't go all fancy and try to give him like a gymnastic pose and whatnot. 
As you can see, he has his arms folded, and just below the waist is where the bust cuts off to a purple uh, base, I guess like a building of some sorts. And let me bring this in closer to get a better view of the head sculpt. And yeah, this is just a beautiful piece with him smiling and just like in the cartoon. Um, Batman Beyond is one of my all-time favorite series, characters, uh, experiences in the comic book world. And DC, you know, we wish they would make a live-action movie or at least continue it. Um, but I'm glad Diamond Select has this minibus this year. And I do hope they come out with even more pieces. And then moving on down, we have the Batman Beyond logo or his uh, chest plate that is appearing you know through the arms on the other side of the arms and they did a good job of connecting it at the bottom as well it I don't want to say it looks a little bit off but for some reason maybe it's a little bit close the horns or the ears a little bit closer to this wing um, and the bottom might be a little bit off but it's alright it's not too noticeable um, kind of makes it feel more realistic I guess with his suit being flexible and overall the paint is good but what I immediately noticed if you can see it on the camera I don't know if I'll be able to capture it um, again just on the chest plate there's a few difficult paint spots that were missed a little bit either too much red onto the suit or a little bit of black in the crack right there nothing that I'm worried about nothing that I'm gonna fret over it's still a amazing piece and they did a great job at it taking a look at the belt right here if I can get that focused and they did a great job as that, with that as well. They didn't just paint it on the suit. They actually did a uh, molded suit or the pieces over it. Um, the molded belt, that is, not the suit. But they did a fantastic job at that. You can see all the little buckles and pockets right there. And the paint dab is great right there. And overall, the paint dab is great all around. It's smooth. Um, I don't see any other cracks or issues except maybe right there on the head if I can get that in with the lighting but anyway it's just a little bit crooked right there but nothing again too much of a concern it was a fairly cheap not cheap I should say but you know a decent priced minibus it was about sixty dollars at comic-con now I know General Giant has been about double that price but of course given their properties and their rights and likenesses um, and the characters they do being uh, real life characters and lifelike characters it is expected to be a bit more taking a look at the base right here again simple um, I wouldn't expect them or wouldn't really want them to do too much with the base and I kind of the only preference I would have had is maybe making the bust a little bit bigger or the base a little bit smaller but this does have a good proportion to it and it does sit very well taking a look at the Cuff, not cufflinks, um, these blades, if you want to call them, I'm not sure what they're called, but the forearm wings, shall we say. Pretty good, not too sharp, but again, do be careful you don't hit these anywhere, along with the wings. And I really do like how they gave like the grayish, the somewhat darker gray um, highlights on the head and the jawbone and cheek and the shoulder blades as well to give it a little bit of variation. But there you have it. There is the Batman Beyond mini bust. Um, still a beautiful piece for any Batman Beyond collector and fan. I myself am one and I'm super happy to have this. And again, the only issues I have, if you want to say or call them issues, you know, a little bit of paint issues there and the smudge on the back. And then just wishing that Diamond had made a actual Terry McGinnis mini bust and not just a Batman Beyond and an unmasked Batman Beyond. But Either way, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and be sure to check out all my San Diego Comic Con coverage. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for my next video review.